today I'm putting this together a back door. A friend of mine brought me a scrap window, half of one, and went ahead and sawed off the long handle on it. I removed the uh, removed the little locks on it and it just held together with a couple of screws here on the side. I removed the little wheels that they had on the end here for glide and that's basically it. So I've got now a, a, a window frame relatively flat and what I've done here is I've cut 45 degree angles in my frame, tie it all out of uh, two by fours. Now the window is a little bit narrow. I was hoping for a 30 inch door, but it looks to me like it's going to be about 27 and a half inches, which is a little narrow, but it'll work. And it's a total of, I believe it was six foot, yeah, six feet one inches long, 27 and a half inches wide. I've got it set from the top about 14 inches so I probably will end up putting some kind of trim around uh, one bias for trim 45 of those as well I'm going to have to drill pretty deep in here with some three and a half four inch screws on the edges here and all around the four corners here so let me uh, give you a little bit more of a close-up on this okay here we are, just a little bit more of a close-up. There's that window frame. Here's my 45 degree angle cuts. And then I cut this as a, a support in between, which gave me my spacing and extra support. Now I'll probably put uh, a, a bottom piece and a top piece here, maybe that white flashing, that white metal I got, across the top here and then insulate it, cover it with something on the inside, and voila! I'll have a rear door. Now the rear door is going to go, I believe I will put it, looks like right up against this double 2x4 against this window is the way that it'll close. So I gotta add two more 2x4s to the left of that on the hinge side. Now I'll have it hinged towards the inside. That way it kind of doubles as a little a little privacy area for the porta potty which will face with the back towards the the stern of the boat and I believe that just about has it now for the 45 cuts I used my radial arm chop saw highly recommended you try doing it with a with a hand saw a skill saw you're going to end up with a pretty crummy cut compared to what these saws will do now I gotta blow all the dust off of that, clean it up, put it back away, but that's all for today because it's all the lumber I have to deal with as far as that back door. But it should work pretty good. That little red window laying there, that's going to be put on the uh, the um, starboard side, on the right side there, in the back corner, and that's going to be the window for the bathroom. As you can see, it slides up and down, it has a screen, so I'll be able to ventilate that part of the boat and we still yet have to come up with something for these side windows I'm still looking at those those cooler doors I haven't gone to look at them but I think the cooler glass doors will probably work fine with that they're long six inch, six feet across I'm gonna have them hinge up and in towards the boat so I can go ahead and put screening on the outside and that'll give me some more ventilation keep the bugs out Nasty, nasty bugs when you're a lot by you're near water or swamps or what have you. So I'm thinking that's about it. Also, I really don't have a, a piece of glass for the front door that's going to go in there yet. Uh, we'll make that door frame when I get a piece of scrap glass for that. I've done most of my lumber. I don't know if I showed, I did show that. The uh, rib, going the... Uh, Rafter going across here, I got one more to put in the middle, one more along the face, and the same thing in the back, except I don't have the end piece yet, so I have one, two, three more to put in the back. And I think that just much covers it, so please subscribe, uh, stay tuned, you know, keep watching the progress. I'm trying really hard, it's a matter of budget now, but I'm trying really, really hard to get done by the end of this month, maybe by mid-June at the latest, which I hate to do because it's getting kind of late in the 
in the uh, some too too much far into the summer for me to really want to travel too much but I guess I'll have to do what I got to do okay here I'm going to drill the holes for the big line Looks like I'm going to have to go pick up some four inch screws, but you get the idea. Do the same thing on the ends here, a couple of screws. Uh, this one I can go with a three and a three and a half, it'll hold. And I'm going to put some glue on it and that should do it. Okay, here you can see I've already pre-drilled all the holes, they're countersunk. Along there, they're going to be two for the, two here to hold the cross piece or support this is going to be the corner I need to get a little bit longer screws I only have up to three and a half I need a four here or four here I need three and a half here and shorter ones here I've got everything but the four inch so I'll have to just put this off for a while now there may be many ways to put these together with biscuits and you know uh, uh, tags or there's many ways I've made these frames before but this is pretty simple it'll work uh, the screws will make it plenty strong. I'll add some uh, wood glue to it and then once I put paneling on it the thing will be rock solid so I'm not concerned about strength or any of that. It's pretty strong. It's kind of narrow. It's a small door. Six feet by less than 30 inches so should do. Okay, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Keep watching. There'll be more and more videos coming on all the little details and then eventually we are going to set sail on the Mississippi. Okay, thanks again for watching. This is River Rat Shanty Shack, signing off. Until the next video, we'll see you.